Hi, Brad of Silver Lining Daydreams. Today in this video, we're gonna use Rust-Oleum's Appliance Epoxy Paint. We spray painted our RV dinette tabletop, the legs and the hubs black. And we're gonna go over how well this works. So I'm gonna start by sanding this down. We're gonna paint it. We're kind of just gonna be real and share with you our experience. So hopefully that will help you to determine whether or not you wanna try using this paint yourself. So let's get right into this. This is wet paper towel just to get the big pieces of the plastic off. Doesn't feel like much came off when I sanded it, so this will be an experiment to see if the paint will stick. Tack cloth. I'm trying to rush because it's gonna get dark and colder here soon. It is November in the Midwest. Will this work? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Splattering. You can't paint it because as I'm painting, it's going this way in the wind. What's a solution? You can't paint on a windy day. It's not very windy. No, it's shooting black paint. Shoot specks, black paint. See? Fine. It's got black spots. And yeah, it'll cover up. Yeah, but it won't be smooth. Stand it up and you go sideways. I think we'll let it dry and we'll stand it up and paint it tomorrow. <laughs> Trying to come sideways at it. Now it's not shooting stuff. Maybe I didn't shoot enough paint out because now it's fine. I should have sprayed the ground for a while first. I hope there's enough left over. By the way, I do have one disclaimer that the directions on the back of this can were so small that I couldn't even read them with a magnifying glass. This goes without saying, but you're not going to want to prepare food on this table or eat off this table. The dinette table legs and floor mounting hubs are still at the camper, so I think I'll bring you guys along with us to go get them, then we'll bring them back and spray paint them. So these are the dinette table mounting hubs. This one is stripped, and I'm sure they stripped it when they installed it at the factory. Okay, so I actually missed a screw right here. Knees out. Uh, I think we got them all. Alright, what's going on here? Alright, maybe we can slide you out. Uh, oh, what have we got going here? Ah, shoot, it hit the GoPro. GoPro stopped recording. All right, just kind of cleaning this up a little bit because I knowing me, I will step in it. Grease off. Yeah, there's grease. There we go. 
Still trying to figure out how to use the GoPro. What's really kind of cool is that the GoPro is voice activated. To help keep mice out, you really want to clean your camper too. We will put a playlist at the end of this video with all our RV remodel videos up to this point. Just to make sure I thread them in there straight at first. Probably should do it by hand. We're very pleased with the table legs and the hubs as they look absolutely fantastic. I don't know if this video really shows what I see inside the RV here, but the black table just really pops against these cedar plank walls we installed. Scratched it with my watch. Let's see if it comes out. Nope. Scratch. So yeah, when the light shines on it, you can see some imperfections here and there. So let's go ahead and turn the light off. Okay, now it looks much better when the light's not kind of spotlighting some of the imperfections. The overhead light we took down, so I can't put that on. So here's my thoughts on using this Rust-Oleum Epoxy Appliance Paint. Does it look great? No. Does it look terrible? No. It's just average. So if you want sort of a temporary fix or an average table, yeah, go with it. Um, but I have a feeling we're going to live with it and switch it out. But definitely, you are going to want to put some sort of a poly on this to protect this. So I don't know. You know, I have to live with it. So that's where I'm leaning. But this will get us by for a while. So I think we're going to continue the rest of the remodel and then come back and address this issue. It's not so much about the price with this paint as it's relatively inexpensive. It's more about is it worth the time, the effort, the possible mess, and the hit on your lungs and liver inhaling it. Actually, one can look at this as having more of a textured look than a water droplets look. So, you know, the more I look at this, the more I do like it, but you definitely need to put a coat of poly on it to protect this finish. Keep in mind that the composition of the plastic on your RV dinette table may be chemically different than ours, so you may even have better results than us, or worse, with this appliance paint. I didn't spray all of it underneath, but I got the hubs and the legs, everything you'll see. If you found value in this video, please give us a like, share our video, subscribe, hit that bell to receive notifications if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. This is a November sunrise. The camera's not fully capturing how beautiful it is.